Thank you. Mwah. Thank you. Look you look gorgeous. Where have you been? You. You've got your makeup done already. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I've done it all already. Are you ready, ready for makeup? my makeup yeah, skills? Yeah, ready. So yes. I wanted to recreate a look that I like my jaw dropped when I saw this on you and this was a few months ago I think at the you know here it says woman in film mm -hmm. nominees party and I think our mutual probably one of our favorite makeup artists Hung Bango did this yes. look on you I thought it would be really fun to like recreate this like sort of sparkly kind of copper tone on the eye and then this like peachy kind of cheek this is probably as far and Hung will tell you this, this is as far as I'll go like with a smoky eye because if you put like a massively dark or pigmented smoky eye on me, like yeah. I, it just doesn't, yeah, it wears me, you know? This is the Van Gogh stroke. Um, okay, so I've done a little bit of um, base already yeah. to save time. As have I. I'm gonna go straight in and do the eye. So I'm gonna start with this hourglass and blaze. I'm going to use this brush by Rowan. I'm going to sort of like just play around this, with this glossy. And as I was telling you earlier, I use my fingers quite a bit to apply makeup. Like there's something about the like skin on skin I know. sort of thing that like, and again, like honestly, even brushes sometimes can intimidate me slightly. Like I'm sort of watching what you're doing sort of fascinated. This is an amazing brush. So this is um, Rowan, a brand that just launched oh, yeah, by yeah, Nikki DeRose. Right. So it's great for all eyeshadows, but particularly ones that have like a sort of metallic kind of creamy. Yeah. I also feel like when I do, you know, a wash of something, I kind of like to like drag it out a bit, you oh, know, because it yeah. kind of like, I mean, it elongates to the tip. Oh, and then obviously these, I mean, these Chanel pots are so great. great. And this one yeah. I... I brought out just because I thought I would bring a little bit more sort of chocolatey depth to yeah. kind of put in the crease. I also find it sometimes difficult to find like the actual shape of the sort of wing sometimes. Like I feel like I have to really eyeball it, you know? Snatch your eye back. Okay, okay close. And I remember like days in my 20s as well where it'd be like a, a weekday and I just remember like not you know, as a model, and I'm sure it's the same sometimes when you're acting, it's like you're either working or you're not. And you just kind of like get in your head, or you you don't feel productive, mm -hmm. you don't feel inspired. And so actually for so many years, I used to like kind of dream about having my own business mm -hmm. and having my own kind of office and working with like a cool team of women where we could just build and be creative mm -hmm. and support other women and ha just have fun with makeup and yeah. beauty. And you know, so for me it really feels like dreaming about that has kind of made things come true, so. Tell me more about Nona. You know, Michael and I have a production company called Make Pictures, yep. and for us it's making pictures that matter. Mm -hmm. And you know, human trafficking is um, a subject matter that people don't know a lot about. A lot of times people say like, oh, isn't, aren't, isn't that like a prostitution thing, which is yeah. a really interesting misconception because, um, you know, these women are being held against their will mm -hmm. and um, and they're often like seen as prostitutes, even even by like, police, yeah. of course. So it's kind of like reprogramming yeah. that thinking. So we just, we wanted to basically use our artistic voices to tell, though a narrative story, something that hopefully like connected with people. Yeah. Yeah. I ask for a lot of people to go to nonamovie.com okay. because not only do you have all the platforms, but there's a call to action of like what you can do to fight um, human trafficking. Yeah. So I feel like this is subject matter that's you know really needs a call to yeah. action for people to come and help. You know, you're hired. Thanks. <laughs> um, you should hire me for your most important <laughs> red carpet event, and then see what Make happens. A <laughs> <laughs> I recently have been using non-comedogenic products on my right. skin because I break out a lot. Uh -huh. So I've been using the um, Giorgio Armani foundation. I love All that four foundation. of them yeah. are non-comedogenic. Uh -huh. And this is what I have on today is the Luminous Silk Foundation. That's such a great foundation. Which I think is their like most iconic one. I wear it in 5.5. And this one I've um, I don't know if YSL makes this anymore. Um, but it, it's called Full Metal Shadow. I love. Yeah. It's like, there's no nice way to do it. Like, I, like, I feel like I'm always like... <laughs> Makeup <laughs> faces are horrendous. Um, I'm going to now use uh, a little bit of the Glossier Play 
I am so excited to see the and glossier. Play. So the first time I played with these, I played with them with a regular brush and it didn't work as well. And then, you know, you can also purchase this like oh, funny little rubber tip that's cool. brush that they include and it really does make a huge difference because you almost sort of lay it onto your eye. It's like a little spatula. And then like kind of like push it around a little bit. Oh, that's funny yeah, because it's kind of like a jelly. Was that a fun event you went to that night? It was so much fun to go to this event because it was celebrating women in film and obviously we're in a moment that's, you know, such a critical time for that. I can't believe I didn't get invited. <laughs> I'm you joking. See it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was also like I was partnering with um, a company called Chloe Wine that basically um, asked for female filmmakers to submit a short and they're judged and like they win. Oh cool. Yeah, they win a cash prize and also a mentorship. So it's kind of an, it, essentially it's an incentive for women to tell stories, you know? So it's, I always say like the more that we can like support each other and obviously yeah. I know you're a big believer in this. Like yeah. it does take a community. I think like whether it's starting a company or, you know, telling a, a story or writing a script or making a movie, it can feel so like lonely at times. Yeah. Because you're like, God, how is everyone doing this? Yeah. You know? And so like the more I feel like you can like lean into other people and say, like, can you can we just talk about how yeah. like how are you doing it? How are you looking gorgeous by the way? Being vulnerable is yeah. hard, you know, yeah. and I feel like, you know, to do that with women who are, you know, like-minded or you know you feel a certain level of comfort with yeah and, you know that can really change the game in many ways yeah that yeah. looks amazing oh, it's pretty full-on i think hung would have definitely some strong opinions about this i brought my mascara um from rosy beauty so it's funny i don't curl my lashes you don't oh it's like a game changer for me i don't because they're quite like that already and if yeah. i do it i look like a to Dolly, you know? Looks good, Kate. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really good uh, color tone for both of us because we've got mm. blue eyes. Yeah. I don't think Hans ever put lashes on me. Really? I love lashes. Yeah. I, I sometimes get uh, eyelash extensions. I've never done that, is it? Like, it's so fun. Is it? Yeah, I love it. I'm so into this so far. I'm really not doing myself. You are? <laughs> So I'm going to start using this palette. I actually haven't used this palette yet. I bought it when I was in London. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Troy Surratt. I'm going to use the like bronzy color here and just kind of give a little bit of bronziness and contour. And then, wow, the eye is popping. <laughs> it looks so good. It's like Studio 54. Yeah. Obviously, this one we both love this yeah i brought that um so this I one i thought it was really like mm -hmm. kind of a good match for the cheek for me i like just like really kind of like patting things into the skin you know yeah but you're really good with contour i probably do too much half the time I just <laughs> no no it was perfect but are you supposed to contour like here with dark well hair? i've just followed my kind of cheekbones and bone structure mm -hmm. i'm going to use the bigger brush just to really kind of bronzer and bring it on my neck 320 rouge profond yeah that's a, they know, smell amazing so there's no other smell like yeah Chanel it's like blushes. truly it's like just, granny makeup oh, but in the so best good. possible way yeah but this color i use quite a bit for yeah blush. It's, it's just so great that's another face right the blush face <laughs> <laughs> you look demented doing your makeup <laughs> so i always like to pop whatever like blush color right. i put I always put a little bit here mm -hmm. in my brow there. So do I, actually. It brings whatever tones here, mm -hmm. like, into your eye. Right. And also, like, because I have blue eyes, anytime you put any kind of rosy, mm -hmm. coppery tints in your eyelid, it makes them pop. But it also just brings all the colors together, so you don't look like you've got color on your eye, color right. on your cheek, color on your lip. It's like everything starts to feel, like, blended and, uh, like, all one story. I mean, at the end of the day, it's kind of like, you just have to feel it out, right? I mean, you see it kind of coming together. And... I think that's what's so fun about makeup is mm. it's truly like painting. And yeah. like, if it doesn't work, you wash it off or you take it down or... Yeah, you're right. There is no reason to be intimidated, actually. It's just it's... like playing with it. But I think it's, it's intimidating when you're in a rush and you have to get ready for something and, you know, you don't want to take risks. Right. 
But I think like that's why I always just lean towards products that are just really easy to use. This is actually, I'm not so familiar with this oh. brand. NCLA Beauty. Yeah, oh, I'm pretty sure it was that. I always keep this NARS around just because it also has sort of this that Dolce Vita or Do Me Baby. Just, you always want a little Do Me Baby at the end of the night. <laughs> I sometimes put like the lipstick that's a little bit brighter, like kind of like I do the blush, like a little bit on the top of yeah. what a base is, do you know? Like an ombre lip. Mm -hmm. And it just like, it just lifts it, I think. Do you use liner, lip liner? Yeah, I do use lip liner. These are the Kevin Kwan, like the flesh tone lip pencils. It looks pretty. And what I like about them is like, it, it almost, well at least for me, it's really the same color as my lip. Right. So interestingly, like, I don't love my mouth with a lip pencil. No. I'll usually use like the edge of a lipstick to kind of yeah. get like a bit of, you know, distinction. And then, and then I kind of do this. But why don't you like the look? I don't I like the look on other people. I don't like it on me. So I'm gonna take the Lancome one from Lisa Eldridge and like, it's very sort of disco, like glam. You look gorgeous. Actually, you know, I hope I'm you're going, going somewhere. Um, going home. Does that count? I'm gonna just pop a, actually a little bit. Only if you finish with Doomy Baby. Yeah. So use three lipsticks there. This is Ray of Light. This I, I do love these Mark Mark Jacobs like creamy I lipsticks. I love them. But this is the one that's like this is actually comes out quite red, but just to kind of tap it over or something that was a bit had more brown in it, I think lifts it. Have you tried this hourglass powder? No, but I've heard it's, it's amazing. beautiful. It like mats you down, but yeah. you still look kind of glowy through right. it and radiant. It doesn't like make you kind of cakey or... Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with powder, right? Is it can easily sort of like make things too matte. So I thought your eyebrows looked a little um, kind of lighter in this. Mm -hmm. So I brought my trusty YSL Couture Brow in shade number two. I feel like this was really kind of a fun look to recreate because it didn't really require like a ton of skill. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I'm looking I mean, at you thinking it's looks amazing. Like, I think the key for me when recreating a look is like getting all the colors right first. Right. So like kind of taking five minutes to look through your products and Sometimes I find like if I really want to concentrate on doing my makeup, like I'll line everything out in the order that I'm going to do it in. I always do a last, like I'm not afraid of blush, you know, I like a good pop on the cheek, but I always do a last little sort of like dusting of, of blush at the end. Cool. I feel really good about that. That was so fun. Should we call Han? <gasps> Why are you FaceTiming me? <laughs> Look at my makeup. What is that? What? I'm, in, I'm in the party right now. Can I call you back? No, no, Han, look who I'm with. Han. He's paused. <laughs> Why are you calling me? Bye. Love you. Bye. It's like his ear. <laughs> He's the best. I oh like his brutal himself. honesty. I know. Why are you calling me? <laughs> That's the, literally not even hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, I'm, there's like tons of wrinkles, okay? <laughs> I'm just hiding the wrinkles. <laughs> Get up and close. I'm close and personal with my wrinkles. <laughs> Are you getting under my armpit, Panya? No, I'm not, I promise. <laughs> you can always tell when your eyelashes are oh, shedding. Yeah. Have you ever tried putting powder on your lip? Do you think it'll make it more matte? I'm going to try it. Isn't that a thing? I'm sure it's like a baking thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope you use all of that. <laughs> <laughs> it'll probably go in. 